longer, of course, the case. Uh, as for the case itself, as you've heard over the last hour, many believe it will ultimately be dismissed. Let's bring in another voice on that, though. The case against, of course, uh, the former IMF Chief, Chief Dominic Strauss-Kahn, Mark Levine, former trial attorney. Current. As you've heard over the last hour, many believe it will ultimately be dismissed. Let's bring in another voice on that, though. The case against, of course, uh, the former IMF Chief, Chief Dominic Strauss-Kahn, Mark Levine, former trial attorney, current talk radio host on the Inside Scoop. Mark, uh, we've heard it time and time again now over the last hour, hour and a half. Uh, do you think the case case will ultimately be dismissed? It's hard to say. I think we have to look into more detail into exactly what the victim has been accused of lying about. It seems that she lied on her asylum application, or more specifically, she lied to investigators about what was in her asylum in invest, uh, application. Apparently, there are, there are at least allegations that she lied about a former rape. Now, if you've got a victim who lies about a rape in the past, it's Really, that really harms your credibility. I can't see how the prosecution can go forward. If, though, there was a mistake and perhaps her lawyer filed something that they partially didn't understand, uh, she could say, well, I didn't know what my lawyer was filing. Maybe then she may have a way out. They are very graphic allegations against Dominique Kahn. I, I would say that there was a rush to judgment to convict him until today. Now there's a rush to judgment to acquit him. We still need to know more facts. Yeah, well, what was your reaction to that impromptu press conference from the accuser's uh, lawyer, uh, who, as you just said, was describing in graphic detail of uh, what is the alleged attack by, uh, by Strauss-Kahn. Well, I think he saw the rush to judgment in the other direction. Everyone is saying that Strauss-Kahn is completely innocent, and he's trying to say, hey, hold on here. Don't give up the, the case just yet. Now, there's a real chance that he could get in trouble for trying to influence a jury giving out the evidence uh, to a New York jury, potential members of the jury. When you have these high-profile cases, that's something that often lawyers are accused by the judge of trying to do, and sometimes they get into ethical violations. The judge says, hey, you better be quiet. That hasn't happened yet, it, so it'll be interesting to see if there's a response from the judge to what, to what he had to say. Yeah, no, it was... It was uh Quite interesting, I, I would assume, and I, we've already had a number of people react and say, you know, perhaps not something that should have happened. Of course, uh, Ben Brampman, Br uh, Brampman, the uh, lawyer for DSK, saying that was completely inappropriate. All right, so what's next? What should we be focused on in terms of the next key, uh, key event in, in terms of the prosecution? Well, I think the next key event is we need to find out more information on exactly what the prosecution knows, what the victim said, or alleged victim, I should say, when she came forward. What is the nature of the lies? I think that matters here. Now, apparently, she lied about how many phones she had. It said that she said she had one phone and she had five phones. There's this guy in jail who she talked to the day afterwards who it was in jail for drug charges. What's her relationship with him? There's still a lot of questions that are coming out. And one thing I do want to say, though, the prosecution deserves a lot of, of credit. They came forward as soon as they had exculpatory evidence as soon as they had evidence that suggested he was not guilty, they came forward and told the judge that's exactly what they're required to do as uh, people for the state. And I got to give them a lot of credibility, a lot of support for doing that. They did the right thing. Yeah, as the defense attorneys did as well in their brief comments. Uh, Mark, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Want to uh, get a little bit of